is Destiny dead? As the great internet COD fanboy prophets have foreseen many months ago, officially one month ago, Destiny has been released. And how is it holding up? Ladies, gentlemen, it is your host with the most white boy 7th Street with a unorthodox hand cannon slash sniper gameplay. And I actually do pretty good. As you guys know, I am not a sniper. And I think this very moment has changed my destiny forever. Turned down for what? From 7 to 6? I felt like I was moving too quickly. I couldn't control my own body with the seven sensitivity so i go down to six and it immediately pays off with a nice double headshot right there so if you guys are having sniper problems i feel bad for you son turn down your sensitivity at least one i don't know but <laughs> so is destiny dead i'll get to that in a little bit you guys know that i always like to notify you guys when there's a discount on the goat t-shirts one of the greatest t-shirts of all time, no pun intended. And we have the biggest discount that I've ever seen. So if you use code FULL5, you get a full $5 off $30 or more of t-shirts. Who's hooking you up like I am right now? Because we reduced the GOAT t-shirt for a limited time from 20 bucks to 15 bucks. So let's do the math, all right? Get out your calculators right now. So instead of goat t-shirts, two for 40, it's two for 25. You can't beat that. And we got a hot, fresh, spanking new design on the t-shirt store. This design is sick. I'm putting it up on the screen right now. You want it. You want to wear it. Guaranteed you to get more bitches. Guaranteed to be zombie proof, Ebola proof. Your money back if you get any of those diseases. Not available in Africa. And that's probably just a, a bold face lie on my half. But I'm just going to put that out there. Take advantage of the discount while you can. Use code FULL5. Links in the description. Information's in the description. So let's talk about Destiny. Is it dead? A lot of people said within the first month it would be finished. And that's not the case. I'm really liking Destiny. I see a, a bunch of people still enjoying it. The online gaming community seems to have a positive response from it. I know it was a little rough getting into, but now I think it's doing strong and it's doing better than a lot of people expected. And I have some criticism, though, with this game because I really like what they do with the events, the Iron Banner tournament that's going on right now, the Queen's Quest, the Vault of Glass. They keep on releasing... These things, it seems about every week they have something new that they're doing. You know what they need to release, though? Obama, stop calling me! Jesus, right? every time I do a commentary, the motherfucker calls me. You know what they need to change and release for an event? Another game type. They only have Clash, Control, Skirmish, which is basically a combination of Clash and Control. And then this other one, I don't even know what it is. It's like Hardpoint and Call of Duty, but it's only three people, and one of the people leaves every single freaking time. And then they have the free-for-all game type, which I like. I like the game types that they have, but I wish that they would add something a little bit more. Add the, the Hardpoint game type to 6v6. And for these huge maps, the moon map and that map on Mars... I wish it would be 9v9. I also wish that we could get some more maps because it's the same few maps over and over again. I don't know how many maps there are exactly. I want to say less than 10. And I think both of these things that I suggest will greatly improve the longevity of Destiny's life span because the strike missions are very repetitive. Every, you know, the weekly and heroic events, they're pretty much the same thing. I've played most of them many, many times before. Wombo! That, that was just a wombo, no wombo combo. Um, so, I, th I think the, the guns, they have a plethora of them. They have a large selection, and I like that. I like the different armor that they have. I like how you unlock it. I just think that they for, for multiplayer or the Crucible PvP, they need to add some more maps and some more game types. 
And even it could be as easy as turning control into domination, like from Call of Duty. I think that just a point based not not a point based thing like it is now, but like a capture the point based thing and hold the objectives for a certain score. That would be great. Now I am a little bit concerned with 9v9, like I suggested. If there was 9v9 on this map, there'd be so many supers going all over the place. And, you know, if you guys don't know how it works, if you generate orbs of light, like this guy, this blade dancer right there, I'm sure he generated like three orbs of light. So there's these little light balls, little uh, jizz stains on the floor. And if you collect them, you're going to get pregnant. And by pregnant, I mean your super gets more charged up. So I think there would just be supers all over the place, and it would be a little bit uncontrollable with with all these supers. I mean, not if not if they were using the Sunslinger like I am right now. So what I like about the Sunslinger ability, and you saw you saw me pop it a little preemptively and got shut down by the Blade Dancer. There's not much you can do when the blade dancer is rushing at you. So what I like about the Sunslinger ability, and I kind of uh, touched on this on my last Destiny video, it's just more satisfying than a lot of the other of the other abilities because they're just so powerful at first and there's not much you can do after using uh, the Void Walker ability for a while when you just chuck down that invincible grenade and it just messes up a whole radius. There's not much you can do to defend against it and I actually started to feel bad about the people that I killed. I kind of said sorry to them in my head because I do as kind of like BS. Like there's nothing you can do to stop it. Kind of like a heavy rocket. That kind of rhymed right there. But you know what I'm trying to talk about. So guys, please leave a like on this video if you're still watching to this point. And I would be very interested in knowing what you guys think in the comments down below. What could they add to Destiny to prolong the longevity of the game i'll be looking forward to those comments i'll be seeing what happens in another month's time and see if the great profits have been true or if they're going to be proven wrong like again uh take advantage of the discount code use full five discount code at whiteboy7street.spreadshirt.com for your $5 discount off $30 or more worth of t-shirts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.